Hello and welcome back to another modification review where today we're looking at Torox the Brass Bull. Now, he's part of the Glory mod for the Beastmen, which adds in a bunch of unlord like units, but here's one that's actually from lore. Now, he used to lead a bunch of Minotaur tribes and he was a fearsome warrior, but one day you had some demonic entity that came down and killed one of his rivals and then Torox fought him and killed it. After that, he was torn asunder by a bunch of maddening visions and he would eventually go crazy and kill his own tribe one by one and now he just wanders all over killing whatever he's able to and at the moment we've got a few men of the empire who are like oh crap not again and they're about to be hit by Torox here we go right now he's rolling in in a literal fashion there they go okay yeah, whenever you're known as Slaughterhorn, Blood Beast, or even the Brazen One by your own kind, the Beastman, you know that you've got some terrible creature on your hands. And I brought in a few extra creatures from the Glory Mod called the Great Manticores, who are right over here. But right now, we're going to watch a terrible creature called Torox come in. And I'm sure that we'll actually see him as a free LC or a DLC Lord eventually. I mean, he's way too cool to not have as a crazy legendary lord. Yeah. He's a large one. They don't even know what they're doing right now. They're trying to find a way to even throw a swing at him. But right now, they're just kind of moving around. I think they're trying to follow my other creatures, and they're trying to supplement that right now. But at the moment, we're going to watch him just kind of tear right through everyone. I don't even know what he did there. He, like, sneezed, and someone blew up. Okay, now they're finally trying to fight him. Took him a little bit. I mean, look at how many go flying with one swing. Oh, there's a general. Okay, he might do a little, a little bit of damage, maybe. I don't know. There we go. But Torox is found over in Talibheim. He's got a hard on for them. He's like, oh, I gotta destroy Talibheim. That's really his own thing there. But usually Torox will be found leading a bunch of armored minotaurs. Like a mile long of them. I mean, that's according to the Beastman rule book. Keep in mind, the lore that I do talk about is actually from the books. I mean, I have a lot of books. I'm looking at them right now. I've got a stack of like 40k in fantasy books. And that's why I'm able to kind of go through a lot of information. Because I have it on hand. Because I actually have it. I'm a little bit weird about collecting books. And I like to have books. Kind of hard to carry them. But hey, we got books around here. There we go. Let's go check out, for a brief moment, the Great Manticores who are over here. But yeah, Glory Mod is really incredible. I really feel like he should be hired by Creative Assembly because of the work he's able to do. I mean, I did cover his work for Bretonia, for the Glory Mod Bretonia faction, and that's really fun too, and really insane with what he did. I mean, he took what was there and made really unique looking units who are very cool looking. I mean, the guy's got talent. I can tell you that much. Whoo, and they're flying away. He's just having a fun time. He's killed 82 already. If we look at what he has right now, he's fully upgraded at the moment. But he's got a lot of melee attack, even without his upgrades. I mean, he's able to hit pretty much every time. He's got a pretty average amount of weapon strength for a lord. But what's crazy for him, if we go look at it real quick. Hold on, let's go look at it real quick. Over here, we've got armor piercing. We've got a bonus versus infantry and large. That is what makes him powerful. He's got the capability to fight whoever. And he's got terror. He can cause terror, which is really crazy, too. He's a siege attacker, of course. And he's got Primal Fury. No Blood Greed for some reason. I don't know why. Probably should have Blood Greed. I would imagine he would have Blood Greed. But, yeah, he pretty much fights whoever. Doesn't matter if you're Greenskins. Doesn't matter if you're another Beastman Herd. Or whatever. He will kill you. He will go after you. There we go. But apparently, you know, after he went crazy, after that vision drove him to madness and he killed creatures. I mean, we're talking about giants. We're talking about ogres, imperial patrols. We're talking about whatever he found. The gods would bless him and he would be covered in brass. And that's why he's known as the Brass Bull. That is exactly why he's known by that title. And over here, we've got a few manticores who came on over to play for a little bit, just for fun. Just for a little bit of fun. Just to give the Brass Bull a bit of a break, even though he's doing just fine on his own. What kills him is a slower animation for him, but besides that, I mean, he's doing just fine and destroying everyone. 
they can explode into a orgy of gore. Body parts and intestines and entrails all over the map. Ugh. There they go. But that's really his weakness there, is that he's very powerful, that is correct, but you can't have him fight on his own like that non-stop. Eventually they will whittle him down. I mean, a bunch of Imperial Swordsmen are doing that. Much less a larger creature that would probably be able to do that as well. I mean, they're charging back into battle. They're very brave men. I don't know how many men would be doing that. But they... He's just having a good old time. Washing through everyone, beating them in the face and all that. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. But again, if you would like to check out the modification, I do have a link down below. You can find it there. Give them your feedback, tell them hello. Tell them that, hey, you did a pretty good job, buddy. I enjoy it. We're at currently 213 kills, and right now he's getting kind of a beat down. He's not doing so hot. I mean, everyone's trying to fight him. We've got a Imperial General who's after him, too. We've got Kaiserak way over here. He's killed no one. He's just been kind of chilling out as well. And now we're bringing in the Great Manticores, and that's why I wanted to bring them in. That way they could help out as well. In my own fantasy, I would have Tarox riding on a Great Manticore. That would be terrible for everyone. Yeah. He kicks him like a freaking football. They go flying. Yep, more of them go flying. He's moving away. Is he? Oh, he's actually fleeing. As he flees, he kicks people in the air. That's pretty funny. But now we've got a few great manticores who are doing their thing. Oh, do you just spill blood? They do have poison too. Not a very high melee attack, but they are there. Decent armor, very high weapon strength. I do like though that. He actually does balance out what he has. I mean, they can be great, but they're not overpowered. I mean, I've used his mods, and I do not find them to be overpowered. A lot of modifications are really just kind of overpowered to a gross degree to where it's really no point to playing them because, I mean, there's so many balance mods out there that I feel like they should at least try to base their mod off of one or to get a guy to work with them to do that because, I mean, usually you'll have unit mods, but they're never balanced out, and I don't like that. I like to have a balanced type of gameplay going on. Nothing too crazy going on. Or then I weep bitterly. But bitterly do I weep. Oh! There goes a head. He did not get a head. Hold on, let's go watch it in slow motion for a brief moment. He's like, oh crap, oh, my muscle. And there goes his arm, and there goes half of a guy's torso. Completely gone, flying in front of another guy. He's like, oh, I'm out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Anyway, I like to add a few sound effects. I don't know why. I'm a foolish man who enjoys adding sound effects to an already sound effect filled game. But either way. Oh no. These guys are actually pretty fortunate they fell down because right now we've got some nasty crap going on. That was pretty gruesome. That was actually pretty nasty watching him get back up after spraying blood all over. Oh. He's so pissed off, he's like striking the air. And the Manticores are back here doing their thing. Oh, he rolled right through a guy. Oh! Come on, you got him. You can do it. I guess, I mean, they kind of have. I believe you now. The gods have abandoned you. Where's he running now? I don't know where he's going now. But anyway, that is Tarox, the Brass Bull. The Brazen One, the Blood Beast, Slaughterhorn. Definitely a Slaughterhorn. I mean, check him out. Pretty cool looking. That's a pretty cool shot of him. I like that. I can dig it. I just like to keep, you know, really cool screenshots of whatever they're doing. But anyway, that is over. 
let's go look at our kill feed right now. No one on our side died, of course. We have over 239 kills, or exactly, my bad, exactly 239 kills, and a little bit of help from everyone else. But, I mean, he's really a great tool to add in. He's not overpowered, as you can tell here, because, I mean, he's only fighting generic swordsmen in groups, which shows that he's not overpowered. He's still very strong. You can definitely use him as an asset, not a main theme to your build, to your army build. He won't be able to steamroll the entire map on his own, like maybe Deathclaw and Karl Franz. But he's definitely powerful enough to where he can do a lot of damage. I feel like he should be given Blood Greed to kind of make him a little bit stronger. Because Gore Bulls on their own are also very strong, but I don't know if they could actually fight that many men on their own. I mean, most units in the game should be forced to use other units to help him out, to pat him out and all that. But anyway, thank you for watch watching. I almost said watching. Anyway, thank you for watching, and as always, until then.